Good evening, everyone. This is Cricket Lad, and it is Wednesday, September 22nd, 2021. And uh, we are talking about Young Living Essential Oils products that support the brain. And um, so I'm going to share my screen here. And I guess I'm just gonna share the screen because I've got a couple different things I can share. So here we go. Support your brain. And so welcome everyone. Um, we are gonna talk about different ways to support your brain. Can you think of anything more important in your body than your brain? Certainly your heart is important. You know, some of your organs can regenerate themselves. Your brain is pretty amazing is what it can do to recuperate after an injury, but it's best to keep it running smooth and, and going well. So diet certainly has a lot to do with, um, general wellness of the brain. Um, it's, um, I'm just going to read this paragraph from this book. This is um, supplement desk reference. And I'll give you later on where to purchase this book. Yeah, it, but it's really good. Um, so the brain is, of course, a complex organ should not be overlooked when considering your overall health. Our memory, thought process, ability to move, think, sight, speech, emotions, logic, of course, all rely on the brain. So loss of any one of these uh, functions would be catastrophic. And yet we often take them for granted until they're gone. Um, support your brain naturally by eating a diet rich in omega-3s such as salmon, tuna, antioxidant rich berries like blueberries and strawberries, broccoli, nuts, avocados, and other healthy items rich in antioxidants and healthy fats. Make sure to get at least 15 to 30 minutes of exercise five times a week at least. The added benefits to your brain when you simply take a walk every day are exceptionally powerful. I know Doris does that because um, aren't you the one that I always get the auto reply? Uh, I'm taking a walk right now. You'll, you can. <laughs> yes, yes ma'am. In fact, when your message came this morning, I was heading out the door and I hadn't put it on. And I <laughs> thought about it, but yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. 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 So I know Doris is walking at least on Wednesdays when I send a message out. <laughs> um, Thank you. So. Let's see, um, there are some things to stay away from, such as processed sugar, um, alcohol, processed foods, and then interestingly, staying up late and not getting enough sleep. Out of all of these, getting enough sleep is the most important thing to help support your brain. Most people need seven to nine hours of sleep. There are many people who say, Oh, six hours is really all I need and I'm fine. But you really, you need seven to nine hours. Um, the average American gets 6.8 hours of sleep. Um, if you guys are doing things in the background, could you please mute your phones or mute the system? Over time, this will compound upon itself causing sleep deprivation and sleep deprivation causes memory loss and slower functionality rate in motor skills. Um, not, never more evident than in my stepmom when she was taking care of my dad and would get up every two hours and um, take care of my dad. And she had bags under her eyes. And when I would come and take over for her, and stay up with dad for the night and she slept all night long. Um, it, um, the bags were gone. She could move faster. She could think clearer. So it's definitely important to, um, to consider all of these tips when improving your brain health. 
Um, so there's a brain health and cognition protocol in this book, and we're going to go over that. So the ingredients in this protocol support memory function, focus, and overall brain health. So the supplements that are involved, and you don't have to scribble really fast because we're going to go over these one at a time, so you'll have time to write them down. But the supplements are MindWise, Omega Gize 3, Super B, Cardio Gize, which sounds like it's for heart, which it is, but it also supports the brain. Olive Essentials, Ninja Red, and Ninja Nitro. Okay, so what's the schedule for taking these supplements? Um, so at breakfast time, take um, two tablets of Cardiogize before you start eating breakfast. But don't take Cardiogize if you're on blood thinners. Okay, Ninja Red, one to four ounces with your meal. Um, somebody's still doing something. Um, Omega Gize, three, take two with breakfast. Super B, take one with breakfast. Olive Essentials, take one with breakfast. And MindWise, take one sachet just after finishing breakfast. Okay, so we're going to go over each of these supplements just so you know um, what they are and a little bit about what they contain. So um, there's a lot of information in this book about these. So um, so cardio jives. Um, it's um, excellent choice for all adults, which will help boost antioxidant support as well as keep you moving in the right direction. It supports healthy heart function, blood circulation, and may promote a higher quality of life. The supplement uses um, proper synergistic ratio of CoQ10 and selenium, while garlic and CoQ10 provide antioxidant properties and vitamin K2 support healthy vascular system function. Um, it's um, best taken with food as um, vitamin K is fat soluble. Okay, so it has uh, garlic bulb extract, we said earlier, coenzyme Q10, astragalus, root powder, don quai, motherwort, cat's claw, hawthorn, um, cardamom. And then it has the oils of angelica, cypress, hillocrysm, and cinnamon in the um, capsule. So that's cardiogize. Um, Ninja Red. I know we've talked about Ninja Red quite a few times. Um, Ninja Red is, um, of course, a powerhouse of antioxidants and nutrients that support the whole body, but they're especially helpful for um, the heart and for the eyes. Um, it's the wolfberry, also known as the goji berry, is touted for having high antioxidant properties, and a daily shot of ninja red helps support better energy and normal cellular function, as well as whole body health and wellness. Four ounces of ninja red equals one serving of fruit. However, one ounce has the antioxidant equivalent to eating four pounds of carrots or eight whole oranges. So Ninja Red is safe for all people from children that can eat solids to adults. And of course, pregnant and nursing women should consider using Ninja Red as part of their healthy daily um, regimen. I'm just trying to figure out who is... The noise is coming from. Okay. Um, so we've talked about um, Ninja Red quite a lot. Um, so I'm not going to go into it a lot. It has um, 
all the good juices, of course, the Ningxia wolf berry is a puree. So you get um, a whole food there, the seeds, the peels, the fruit, the juice, everything. And then there's blueberry juice, plum juice, cherry juice, pomegranate juice, all high antioxidant juices. Okay, then um, omega gize 3 is um, a fish oil supplement. There are a lot of fish oil supplements to choose from, but Ningxia or Young Living has exceeded all the others with omega gize 3. So one of them is a core, a, Omega Gize 3 is a core omega-3 supplement infused with an essential oil blend that keeps the fish oil from going rancid, which many of your fish oil supplements, the fish oil is already rancid by the time it leaves the factory. So, um, so the essential oils can support health and um, studies have shown that when infused with essential oil, the nutrients in the supplements become more bioavailable. So there's um, omega-3 fatty acids from BASA fish, B-A-S-A -A fish, um, EPA, DHA, and CoQ10 again in there. And then there's clove, German chamomile, and spearmint in the, um, in the capsule. And it's there, the D, omega gize 3 means there's D3 in there. So that um, is also supportive of um, your immune system and that kind of thing. They say take extra D um, during this COVID time. So take two of those with breakfast. Okay, Super B. Um, Super B is a, a multi B complex. And this certainly helps the whole nervous system, the whole um, the brain health, all of that is um, all supported by vitamin Bs. And there's also calcium, magnesium, zinc, selenium, and manganese in this supplement. So um, it's a really good B supplement. And it has the, does it have essential oil? It doesn't, um, it looks like this is one of the few supplements that does not have essential oils in it. So um, Super B is energizing as well. I don't recommend that you take it any later than lunchtime. Um, and um, you may notice that your urine is much more yellow when you take Super B. So just so you're not scared by that. And so you take one with, with the meal. Um, the next one is um, Olive Essentials. And Olive Essentials is a game changer for optimal health. It'll give you the same amount of polyphenol called hydroxy see tyrosol in one capsule as if you consumed a full liter of olive oil. So if you like the Mediterranean diet as a, a good healthy diet, um, olive essentials is a, um, a great supplement. Polyphenols are medically recognized to support heart health, immune system, and to decrease oxidative stress. Studies on hydroxytyrosol have shown cardiovascular benefits as well as reduction in LDL cholesterol. And it is considered to be one of the most powerful antioxidant compounds available from nature. Two times more antioxidant power um, than the well-known powerhouse green tea. So it benefits cells, skin, eyes, as well as helps ease inflammation, which of course is supportive for the brain and supports overall body health. And then the last one on the um, breakfast schedule is MindWise. And MindWise is um, also supportive of cardiovascular and cognitive health. 
was um, designed especially for um, supporting the brain. It has a fruity, nutty flavor, and it has a vegetarian oil made from cold pressed Sacha Anichi seeds harvested from Peruvian Amazon, and then other medium chain triglyceride oil. So you've heard of MCT oil. This is in the MindWise. It has a high proportion of unsaturated fatty acids and omega-3 fatty acids, plus it uses a combination of fruit juices and extracts, turmeric, and pure essential oils to create a heart and brain function supplement with a taste that is um, that you'll love. It's pretty good. It also includes our proprietary memory function made with bioidentical CoQ10, Alcar, and GPC. So if you don't know what those are, you can Google those. These ingredients have been studied for their unique benefits with generous amounts of vitamin D3. This supplement is equipped to support normal brain function and overall cognition and cardiovascular health. So you can get it in a 16 ounce bottle, which you take a tablespoon once daily with a meal um, and shake it well before you use it, or it comes in an individual sachet packet. And so you can take um, one sachet um, daily. Packets do not need to be refrigerated, but they taste better cold. Um, once you open the bottle, you should refrigerate that. Okay, so that's the breakfast schedule. Then the lunch schedule, um, we've gone over most of these. So another one to four ounces of Ningxia Red, um, Omega Gi 3, two more capsules, another Super B, and then Ningxia Nitro. Now I like to take this about one or two in the afternoon because it kind of gets me through the rest of the day. But here's what Ninja Nitro does. It's, um, it's a non-habit forming energy shot that contains natural sources of energy from green tea extract, ginseng, and choline to help support mental clarity. It should be used anytime there's a need for heightened cognition and energy. Consider using nitro for the afternoon lull to help ease head tension and for added clarity before a test or presentation, for an energy juice boost before a workout or anytime you need extra energy. So it has four um, milligrams of naturally occurring caffeine. I am super sensitive to caffeine, get very jittery with it, and I never have a problem with nitro. I take it almost every day and I never get jittery from it. So um, it has D-ribose, green tea, choline, mulberry leaf extract, Korean ginseng root extract. And the oils that are in it are, um, now here's an interesting thing, vanilla fruit. I thought vanilla wasn't supposed to be ingestible. I guess that's a lie. Um, chocolate bean oil, yerba mate leaf oil, spearmint leaf oil, peppermint, nutmeg, black pe pepper, and wolfberry seed oil. So, um, and then the fruits that are in it are sweet cherry, kiwi, blueberry, acerola, cherries, bilberry, black currant, raspberry, strawberry, cranberry, coconut nectar, um, pectin, and xanthan gum. There you go. It's a great, I love that supplement. And when I don't take it about four o'clock, I'm like, what is going on with me? And, oh, I forgot to take my nitro. So, and it doesn't keep me up either. I've, um, uh, sometimes when I've been at convention, I need extra energy. I'll take three or four throughout the day and it doesn't keep me up in the evenings when I go to bed. So, Okay, so let's move on to um, oils for support of your um, brain. So peppermint oil is um, great for uh, boosting your clarity, for um, energizing you. And even if you're hot and need to cool down, that sometimes helps your brain. The peppermint can help with that. So inhaling it 
putting it like back in your temples here above your ear, um, putting it on your shoulders. Peppermint's great. Um, brain power. While I was writing this, um, this class, I was feeling like I had no energy whatsoever. And so um, I keep brain power and clarity right on my desk. So I took my brain power and I just went like that on the top of my head and then rubbed it in. And um, I felt like I had more energy when I did that. So I was very glad I did. Um, so brain power is kind of what it's, you know, it's for boosting that clarity of thought, um, imagination, that kind of thing. Clarity, just what it says, that's another good one. Genius is the one from the kids scent line. It's already diluted. And so you can let your kids use it while they're studying. You can use it yourself when you're um, trying to read something on the computer or on paper or trying to understand something. All of these three will help with that. Common sense kind of says what it is. Um, just helps bring out more of the, um, you know, what do most people think kind of thing. Frankincense has always been a great support of brain health. And of course, rosemary is um, good to just inhale and um, it helps with brain clarity too. So anybody have any questions so far? I wasn't aware that I was supposed to take Omega Gis twice a, twice a day, like at lunchtime. Um, it, that's just optimal. Um, if you just take yeah. it once, you know, um, you'll still get benefit from it. So you take all four at once. No, I'm going to start taking two though at, in the afternoon. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody you. else? Yeah, you're welcome. Everyone's muted, so don't forget to unmute yourself if you have a question. I don't have a question, but I do have a comment. Sure. Um, you can use those oils on your fingertips, especially your thumbs uh -huh. and your, uh, your toe tips, especially the great toes, because um, all of those areas represent your brain. Oh, yeah, From good point. Like cell allergy standpoint, so if you don't want to pour it, the oil in your hair yeah. or on your head, you could put them on your fingertips or toe tips. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. I, You're welcome. I remember that now that you say it, but thank you for telling us. This yeah. is Hiawatha. I'd like to ask a question. Sure. Cricket. Sure. And it's with regards to Omega Gis. Uh huh. And you mentioned some kind of fish that was in that Omega Gis. What type of fish did you mention? Um, that is back here it is started with a b yeah b a oh i'm trying to read too fast and i spell it for me too when you find it um basa be like boy a S like Sam, A. And that's a fish? Yes. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh-huh. Well, I never heard of that one. Apparently it's good for putting in fish oil, <laughs> making fish oil out of it. So um, the information that I got this from is this book, Essential Oil Desk Reference. You can get it at um, mylsp.com right there on the screen. And I'll show you that screen here in just a second. It is... 
this one, Life Science, published mylsp.com. They used to have all kinds of reference material, but now they just have these three books. So, um, so you can order it from here. Um, it's an excellent book. It's got so much information that you can't believe in it. Um, it has in the beginning, all kinds of general health information. Then there's topics. So under um, brain disorders and problems, it has subcategories of absent-mindedness, Alzheimer's, concentration, confusion, convulsions, memory impaired, mental fatigue. So recommendations for oils for those and nutritionals for each of those different conditions. So the things that I gave you are just kind of a general reference. So that's um, mylsp.com. And then the other one is, oh, and I forgot to mention in the back of this book, if you have this book already, don't miss these charts, these appendixes in the back of the book. Um, there's an appendix um, that has the blend name and all of the oils that are in the blend. It has the singles and all of the oils that contain um, all of the products that contain that oil. So, for example, um, Melissa, uh, somebody told me the other day they read that lemon balm is um, a great support for the brain and wondered if Young Living has lemon balm. Well, yes, we do. Lemon balm is the um, generic name is, does anybody know what lemon balm is? Melissa. And any of those of you who know, have been around Young Living for a while know, Melissa is the second most pricey oil that we have. So if you wanna use Melissa, what do you use? Well, it's in Art Gentle Cleanser, Art Refreshing Toner, Awaken. It's in Brain Power. It's in Build Your Dream. It's in Divine Release, Finance, Forgiveness, Genius, Hope, Humility, Inner Harmony, In Touch, Live With Passion, Loyalty. It's in Multi Greens, Reconnect and White Angelica. <coughs> So if you wanna get some Melissa in your system, you can use any one of those oils and you'll get benefit of having Melissa. So, um, and there's a chart that um, tells you what, um, it has a list of the products and then what it supports. So anti-aging, anti-inflammatory, cardiovascular, digestive, emotional, and so on down the line. And then it has, so it has the product on the side and then um, a circle in the square of the ones that it supports. So it's, it's a book that is, I think, really underused because people don't read anything except the section that is about the disorders and they miss the section that explains about each oil. They miss the charts in the back. There's just a ton of information in this book. Okay, the next one is the supplements desk reference. And this one has um, some charts about um, body systems and um, Supplements that you shouldn't take with when pregnant, um, supplements that contain B products, just all kinds of those kinds of things. Protocols, that's what I read today was the protocol for brain health and cognition. Um, then um, it goes through the vitality oils and then it goes through each supplement individually um, and tells what's in it, what's it good for, when you should take it. And, um, and then in the back, um, ingredients, 
and what they do. So, um, for example, if you want K, you want more K2 in your diet, it tells you the supplements that are in it. If you want more coenzyme, what supplements are they in? So um, this is a great reference book too. And this is available on um, 31oils.com, which looks like this. Um, they have an essential oil guide pamphlet, um, a thieves guide, a health guide. They have all kinds of reference material that's good on here. And let me see, where's the book at? Um, many of you got the brochure about the supplements, the supplement um, usage guide. Uh, if you haven't gotten this from me yet, if you text me your address, I'll snail mail this to you. It has all the supplements, what, which systems they're good for, where, what they're in, when to take them, and there's a digestive enzymes guide at the end. So um books so here's the supplements desk reference it's 22 dollars plus shipping and usually when you order a book you get a sample of quite a few of their brochures so that's kind of that's kind of nice too okay um and then um so any other questions before we close This um this question is from last week. I think I heard you say that. Could I put like a, a drop or some uh, of of a uh, cobaiba essential oil like in my tea and it's digestible? Sure, sure. Uh, see, I, I've been kind of leery about knowing if essential oils are if you can take them internally. <laughs> uh huh. So um, if you don't have any reference material. If you look them up on the Young Living website and it comes in a vitality, then you absolutely know that you can right. take it internally. And sure. Cop Copaiba does come in a vitality. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. How about if, if I just got it in the oil though? And... But they don't make, Young Living doesn't make them any different. Okay. So the vitalities are labeled for it and, um, but um, so technically those are the ones you're supposed to take internally, but Young Living doesn't do anything different for the ones they put in uh, one bottle than the other. So they're, they're exactly the same. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I need, I need something more about sleep. I am not sleeping enough. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll put that on a future list. We're not going to have class next week. Because I'm going to go away for the night with my husband. But maybe if we haven't done, I don't remember the last time we did sleep. So I'll look that up. If it's been a while, then we'll what about, we do that one again. What about two life nines together? Two life nines? Yeah, taking um, two, two capsules of life nine. Oh, it won't hurt you. Okay. No. Well, I know you had mentioned it might help me sleep better tonight. So. Oh, I don't, I don't know for sure. Um, you take it in the evening because like nine is a probiotic. So it, um, so it um, works on the food that you've eaten during the day to create more, um, you know, good bacteria in your intestinal area. Okay. So that's why you take it in the evening. So oils. Um, Peace and calming, um, German right. or Roman chamomile, any of those. Put them in a diffuser, yeah. rub them on your wrists and your bottom of your feet. Okay. Um, I, supplements. I got, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I got Lady Sclera. Yeah. I'm not sure. I, I, where I got that is it looked like it had a lot of oils for good and bad emotions. Uh huh. So I've been, I've been using a little bit on my ankles. Yes, that's the right place to put them. Yep. Is that specifically for something other than just a number of things? It's for, um, it, 
its main purpose is supporting um, female hormone system. Oh, okay. Yep. Anybody else? Yes, what oil like was that for Miss Cricket? You say for female hormone? Uh, lady Sclera. Lady. S C A R E O L, I think, or close to that. If you type yeah, lady. Yeah, if you type lady in the search box on the website, I'm sure it'll be the first one that pops up. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Got a lot of oils in it. Yeah. Can, um, can, Claire, can you Claire, hear me? Cricket? What's that? Can, can you hear me? Yes. Well, I would like to suggest that a lavender be considered uh, as helpful to make one sleep. Yeah. Yeah, I exactly. I do yeah, have I that. I put, yeah. it on my, put it on my wrist and I rub it together mm -hmm. and I just inhale it from my wrist and it really mm -hmm. helps me to sleep. Yeah. Um, and you. Sue, you can go back on my um, YouTube page mm -hmm. and look for the uh, video on sleep. Okay. And just, and just um, watch that. So... Okay. You've, te else? You've, texted, you've texted me that in the past? Yeah, but if you just go on my YouTube channel, like any, go okay. to any video like last week's and then just mm -hmm. look through the other videos on my channel, you'll find okay. the other ones. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. This has been very helpful. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, anybody else have questions or comments? Okay, we're gonna say good night for the evening. Um, I'm going to put this link at the end of the YouTube video. This is the link for um, all of the supplements and oils that we mentioned today. So if you want to order them, when you click on this link, it will bring up um, all those products on the Young Living page, and then you just log in with your login name, and you can take out the ones you want, and you know, um, and put those in. And then um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then you'll get notified when um, new videos are added. So if you click the this link uh, when I send the YouTube link you can click the subscribe button and then it will tell you when um, I put new videos up. So, all right. So um, that is it for the evening. Thank you all for joining. Have Thank a you. great rest of your week. You. I will Thank not you. see you next week. Good night. Good night. Good night. Enjoy your time. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.